So we're gonna continue the demo and I was thinking that we could make a small component and I was thinking that this uh, this counter right here that would make an excellent co component so let's try to generalize that so what we'll do is we'll go into uh, Visual Studio again and we will to the list page we'll add a new component so we'll go into new items and we'll go to speak and we'll do a base uh, uh, just a speak component and we'll call this the item counter and that gives us well actually we just had to place the rendering first so we'll drop that into the page settings and that gives us three files one is the chml with the mvc view and we'll just uh, quickly do a brush up of this one we'll change this to client and we'll do a hello world what is in this file is this is actually just instantiating a, a helper class that you can uh, use for outputting so this sets the class and this one says that we need to include this uh, item counter js file which is this file and this just uh, outputs uh, some um, uh, attributes for the html so this is the uh, uh, the base, base uh, component standard mvc view then we have the javascript file and this is uh, using uh, the same model as the, the page code that we saw earlier we have a require js line at the very top and then we define the model this is the model that will be in the page code and then we have a view which uh, has access to the actual the DOM tree and last we register this uh, new item uh, counter component in in, um, in the page code so what we'll what we need to do is if we go and look at the uh, the rendering it is right here here's our uh, item counter and you can see it, it points to the right HTML TS HTML file now, as you probably remember, I said we need to set up the uh, rendering parameters for this um, uh, rendering. So what we'll do is we'll add a new template. And we'll call that the item counter parameters. Now, we're not going to put any, any uh, fields in there just yet, but what's important is that we actually set uh, the base template and we'll set that to the control base like that and we'll save that and we'll get back to that one now we just need to to put in the parameters template which is right here so we'll go for that one like that and what we need to do is we then have to put it into the um, into the layout so I'll just close this for a bit and open it again. And we will add the item counter. And we'll just drag this one right up here. And it goes into the right placeholder. And we'll save that. And hopefully we should have a hello world in this one. Yes, we did this right here. So let's uh, let's try and, and change this a little bit. So the first thing we'll do is we will um, expose an items parameter. So we'll go in here. And we'll say this items. This is what we will bind to the data source. We'll set that as shared, and we'll expose this in the uh, in the model this new one so we'll just set that to null and we'll expose another one which was the count and whenever um, the, the items change we will call the update count function And this is completely similar to what we did in the page code previously. Update count function. And 
and we will get the items from the model and we will set the count the items length like that so whenever the items change we'll update the count in the um, in the CSHTML, we will do a, uh, a span tag and we'll bind the text of oh, <laughs> the text of this span tag to the count property and we'll say items found. We just need to expose this new item property. So we'll do a rendering get string items items like that so last thing we need to do is actually to data bind the um, the new component so we'll go to the item counter and we have this new property called items and we'll data bind that to the data source items like that We'll save this and we'll go over and see if this is actually working. 12 items found. We'll go for home. There you go, 86 items found. So looking at what we did, we did a completely standard uh, rendering. We did some rendering parameters that exposed uh, the properties on this rendering. And we data bound these renderings with the data source. In the CHHTML, we used knockout data binding to expose the count, and we had to do this one to actually make the data binding work. In the uh, JavaScript, we um, exposed two new properties, items and count, and whenever the items changed, we would update the count. And this is basically how you do speed components.